Hello, I'm Lilith Lovecraft of the Crimson Theater, as well as the Big Top Radio Broadcast After Midnight. And this is some lovely little footage from all the way back in Season 1 of Crimson Theater. The Doctor decided to take a remote trip to Waukegan on a very frigid January day and caught this wonderful footage. Uh, his cynicism shines through as you can see that he is trying to turn Waukegan into his own Berwin, I suppose? It's quite interesting and there's a wonderful little bit with a cat which always thrills me. So this is a great piece of history and footage. Children, please ask your parents to leave the room now. Enjoy this footage for yourselves. Ghoulies, here we are back from that horrible movie, and we're down here, we're going to ask Howard, we ran into Howard here down in front of the Fast Tax Refunds uh, place, if I would ever get a refund, I'd appreciate it. But anyway, Howard, uh, you said you saw quite a few uh, good horror movies in your time? Oh, I've seen quite a few. And uh, what were some of your favorite ones that uh, you remember seeing? Uh, my favorite is uh, Godz uh, Godzilla. 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 They, they made a song after him. Oh, that's right, they did. Uh, we've had plenty of Godzilla movies and plenty more to come, Ghoulies, by the way, on our show. Also, have you seen any other uh, famous horror hosts in your time? You keep walking up and down the street, you see quite a few of them. <laughs> well, maybe there's something here I, I've been looking for. So here we are, Ghoulies. We're going to have to go back to the movie now. But uh, we're having a great time in downtown Waukegan, and we'll find out what other adventures we might get into. And, and thanks, Howard, for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right, ghoulies, now back to that terrible, terrible movie that Professor Spring dug up from the crypt. All right, ghoulies, we finally made it to downtown Waukegan for a nice little trip. And we were thrown out of the castle for a while because we burned the ceiling and burned the, the, the expensive rug that was on the floor there. And anyway, anyway, we got to be in beautiful downtown Waukegan. And it's great because we got a horrible Waukegan nightmare of a picture for you. It's cauldron of blood, and Boris Karloff looks pretty embarrassed in this. This movie is a saggy diaper that leaks, and I guess you can bet whose saggy diaper it is. Boris, we're so sorry for you in this picture. It's really a shame to see you in this one. It's got some good, really freaked out, tripped out parts, but for the most part, this movie is horrible, and I really apologize for having it on the show. Hey, there you are. Hey, come on up and say hi. This is my old buddy here. You're going to be on the show. All right, I haven't seen you in a while. All right, how about yourself? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I got a new TV show uh, out good. of Kenosha. Yeah, we're yeah. showing horror good. movies and doing that sort of thing. And uh, and we just thought we'd stop by since we you got such a nice window decoration there. I love that old right. coffin. I'm so, glad to see you, my friend. That's good to see you again. You want to come in? Yeah, we'll come inside. All right, my man. All right. Fin finish your... Uh, oh, well, we'll just ask you one last question before we get to the movie. What, what's your favorite monster movie? Uh, let me see which one was the, um, co uh, wh wh what is that name of that, the, that um, Frankenstein, what do you, you call it, the Bride of Frankenstein, my friend. Oh, name. the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, see, that, that relates to the night's movie because Boris Korloff, of course, was in Bride of Frankenstein in a much better way there. But, yeah, we'll come on in and, and, and check it out in a few minutes, all right? We got to get back to the movie or we got to start the movie. That's what we're doing. All right. Now, we really apologize, but nevertheless... Cauldron of Blood on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater, live from downtown Waukegan. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't. All right, ghoulies. I found one of the very most interesting guests in Waukegan and definitely, I'm sure, one of the most intelligent. And uh, Little Kitty, how long have, have you been living in downtown Waukegan? All right. And also, I was going to ask you, what is your favorite monster movie? Would it be something like The Black Cat? Oh, Shadow's going to be very mad when she sees this episode. Okay, little kitty. Hey, pay attention to me here. Kitty. Oh, well. Blown off again. Dr. Destruction definitely can't get any... We'll see you later, ghoulies. Hey, listen up here. I want my money back for this rotten movie. Hey, you listening to me? I don't care how patriotic you are. Are you listening to me? I do not want a full refund for cauldron of blood. All my ghoulies out there are gonna be very upset. What's the matter with these girls in downtown Waukegan? They got, you, they, oh, can you believe this, ghoulies? Anyway, unfortunately, I cannot get my money back for the movie, so now we gotta go back to cauldron of blood. Ugh, it's even too scary for me to imagine. But here we are, in beautiful downtown Waukegan. 
and doctor instructions, Crimson Theater. See you, police. Get back there. Uh, what's that team in Chicago? The Bears. So where, where can the guy find some, uh, you know, some fun around here? I'm kind of lost. I'm not kind of out of my element here, and I'm looking for somewhere to have a good time. Somewhere to have a good time. In downtown Waukegan. Fiesta Palace there. Is it open now? No, it opens uh, tonight. Well, they'll have Sunday bingo, but you don't want to go to bingo. You want to go to the Fiesta Palace and, and on, on Saturday nights when they have a dance group there. Oh, see, well, see? we got to wait around a long time. But you yeah. have to see the hot chicas. The hot chicas, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm sure some of my ghoulies would like to see the hot yeah, chicas. Oh, yeah, they would love that. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll come back later tonight and check that out. Check Thank it out. You. Yeah. Go on. How are you doing? Okay, ghoulies, I guess, uh, I don't know, we're kind of looking for a good time here and not finding it. I guess the Waukegan is the hot spot at night, and we came out in the daytime. Like I told you, I'm a ghoulish creature of the night, but I'm not afraid of the daytime either. So anyway, back to Cauldron of Blood, and watch, watch Boris Korloff's head melt down in this one. It's a pretty cool scene on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater in beautiful downtown Waukegan. All right, ghoulies, I have to apologize again for Professor Spring's rotten choice in this movie today. But just remember one thing, ghoulies. Watching this movie was nowhere near as bad as actually being in downtown Waukegan, as you can see from the uh, illustrious setting that we are in here today. I don't know what next week's movie is going to be, but again, I apologize for tonight's movie. All right, ghoulies, have a horrifying week, and we'll see you next time on Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater. Ha, 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 ha.